Ladies and gentlemen, it is Smite time, and we're looking at the brand new god Isis, who is the goddess of magic, who comes with some very unique gameplay mechanics for Smite. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into that to see what makes her so unique, and it starts with a passive. So starting off, Isis shares additional HP and MP5 with nearby allies. So basically more hit points and magic points every second, which is great. Uh, for every player death she witnesses, she gains a stack that incre increases up to a maximum of 10. And these stacks reset on death. So you get about 2 HP MP5 per stack, so a total of 20 uh, hit points for 5 seconds and magic points for 5 seconds. And of course all goes away when you die. And this includes allied gods and opposing gods. So you will get these even if you see friendly players die. And so this makes her very useful for team fights, makes her very useful for arena game types, assault game types, uh, anything like that where you're going to be with a group. Now the other thing she gets is a 30 magical power damage plus 25% of magical power for her basic attacks, which goes in a 3 hit chain. So Isis, the way she works, is that she does not get physical power at all. None. Zero. You cannot build physical items for Isis. It will be useless to you. Anything with a physical on-hit effect, lifesteal, uh, the frostbound hammer which slows the enemy down, or even penetration, none of those seem to work with Isis. She is purely magical based. And this is something I've been wondering if they would ever play around with, of making a magical uh, damage carry. You have a bunch of attack damage carries, which are your physicals, like Apollo, and they didn't have anything like that for Let's mages. Every single mage in this game uses physical power, except for Isis. If you're Zeus and you're throwing lightning bolts, if you're Ra and you're throwing balls of light, then it doesn't matter. Those are still considered physical attacks. You could still build a physical build for those characters, really. Uh, not that it might work very well, but you could do it, because those attacks are still physical. So it doesn't matter how much magical you build up, they won't do any more damage. With Isis, you will. The other thing, though, because she's not using physical, she can't crit. So it looks like I'll be going left with Bakasura. But here's her three hit chain. She fires once with three, twice, and then the last one, as you can see, fires in a larger line. So it's kind of cool to see that they're adding these additional combos, like Nasia has a four hit chain. We've got these gods that are actually getting a physical attack combos that have a slightly different hit on different parts of that combo. I think that's really cool that they're doing that. So Isis, you can't build any crit damage, so you can't build... Um, uh, I just saw... Oh, Kwong there. Get out of that tornado. bunch of them here. They might try to jump us. I don't like this. So I can't build any kind of crit. Rage, Heartseeker. Or not Heartseeker. Rage or Deathbringer. Retreat. Oh, I managed to hit Hell once. Twice. Get him out of there. What are we doing, Baka? Alright. So the beautiful thing is that third hit does hit things in a line. Your middle tower is under attack. So you can hit multiple creep in a row. So it's very nice. Your damage will be consistent because of the lack of crits. But the beautiful thing is, even though you're building magical damage, your abilities will be getting more powerful, but now so will your basic attacks. So now as a, you can actually have a mage that will do a decent amount of damage with basic attacks when not doing normal attacks. And part of the reason for this is, of course, many of Isis's attacks... Oh my goodness, that hell is nearly dead. Oh dear, 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 dear. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. Got a good hit on her, too. Let's kind of push up. Alright, 
not much I can do about that. So things are moving kind of quickly, so I haven't been able to go over her abilities. She's got some very nice ones. Ability number one is Wing Gust. As you can see here, it's got a pretty good distance, kind of a mid-range ability. It allows you to go up into the air and kind of fly, and you will fire off four gusts of wind. I'll go ahead and show that off here. You go up in the air, attack multiple times. As you can see, you have no movement penalty while you're performing that ability. And you have no back. You have no backpedal penalty. You have no uh, penalty for attacking. You can move forward, back, left, right very easily. As you can see, it gives you a 25% movement speed, and it does right now 35 damage per hit. It's very good for chasing. It's very good for running away if you need to. Uh, very good for initiating, uh, clearing the lane because it will do a lot of damage at its last level. Whoops. Okay, let's grab a little bit of protections. I was able to pull back a bit. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with Bakasura. I'm going to go ahead and pull back a bit. Bakasura making a push. That's kind of nice to see. Let's see if I can't help out. Uh-oh, pull out. Ah, oh, jeez. Retreating probably won't get away. Yep, wasn't expecting to. <sighs> well, this is already seeing bad signs. And I'm saying that because I have played multiple matches in a row now uh, where this just... <sighs> I've had bad matches, very bad matches, a lot of them involving players leaving early, and they just haven't been entertaining. Seriously, when you're down one player and you're just getting constantly ganked and owned, I don't mind showing my losses at all. I'll, I'll show you guys my failures. I don't. I'm perfectly admit that I'm not the best player, and uh, I just do what I can. But if the match isn't interesting for me, uh, my commentary sucks, and then I don't think it becomes interesting to watch. And I wouldn't subject you guys to that. So, you've seen the first ability. Oh, jeez, Baka. Watch your, watch your health there, man. Let's just go ahead and show this off again. You can see that it does a decent amount of damage. Hits multiple times. I'm just going to go ahead and pull back here. I'm getting brutalized. And just killed by Fenrir. As to ab out of nowhere. My god. Wow. Your middle tower. That blue. Jeez, I didn't think he would kill me that fast. Okay, so we're not doing so hot. That's two deaths in a row. Ganked immediately. Use Fenrir using his ult. Unfortunately, not much I could do. I wasn't expecting him to come out of the side. I should have known better since they weren't in the left. I don't know what Bakasura is doing, quite honestly. Um, jungling, I guess. But uh, it's leaving me vulnerable, and I don't like that. I don't, and this has been the other problem I've been having. I've been having lane partners that don't work <laughs> with me very well. Not so much the composition, but the uh, players tend to be abandoning me, and I don't know why. Oops, kind of missed that one. Keep doing some damage through here. So the number two ability you've been seeing me do, the ball that goes out and explodes, that is Spirit Ball. You send forth a ball of energy, it passes through walls and enemies, and it travels forward up into a long distance here. I'll show you the distance. It's pretty good distance. Wow, oh, nice. I'm going to fire that off. I unfortunately wasn't able to uh, get a kill on that one, it's a, or get a hit on that one anyway. As you can see, it uh, does 70 damage at the explosion point, and it stuns it for 1 seconds in a radius of 10 feet. Alright. Oh jeez, he got away. Let's clear the lane. Be 
Okay, so what happens here is the ball will go out to a maximum distance. When it, when the ball explodes on its own at full distance, it will get 50% more power and 50% more stun. So right now it has a f one second stun. If I can hit at the extreme range of this ball's duration here, it will stun for half a second longer. At any time, I can manually detonate the ball. So here, I don't have to let it go its maximum distance. And as you can see, many of Isis's abilities actually travel through walls. Which are quite nice. Makes her very useful for uh, ambushes, for tactical maneuvers. So here you can see I can let it go all the way, or I can try to detonate it prematurely if I need to hit something. It's quite nice. It does quite a bit of damage. A wing Gust actually does more damage overall, but it is more damage in a single shot. So number three is Dispel Magic. Dispel Magic silences enemies in a target area for one second. Enemies hit also lose 10% magical protections and are slowed by 35%. Uh, any allies that are affected by my passive funeral rites will gain the missing buffs. So basically anyone who's it nearby that will get my passive M HP MP5 will gain the protections that I steal with this Dispel Magic. And I'll show you the distance here. It doesn't go all the way out, but it goes a pretty good distance. An ally has been slain. I like that wing gust because, as you can see, it allows me to kind of move around. Oh, got Fenrir with that, very nice. Kind of try and keep them out of my tower here. Wing gust allows me to be very agile while simultaneously doing damage. As you can see here. Oh, he was able to get me, but I'm going to what I'm do is put down my. Oh, that wasn't enough. <sighs> See, once again, I'm kind of left alone. Two on one, even as Isis, is not very good. And it's kind of annoying that this keeps happening, really. I've been trying to get this footage done, and it feel it's very hard to really show Isis off very well when I'm new at her and being left in a lane by myself. It just seems to be happening a lot. I'm not sure why. I think a lot of people think Isis is very self-sufficient. She can be, but sh without knowing her very well, I definitely suffer. So we're just going to keep going here, keep trying, just not going to let it get to us too much. Uh, we can see here we have Vampiric Shroud, Magical Power, Health, MP5, and get uh, Health and Mana when I kill enemies. And I've got the Boots of the Magi, Magical Power, Mana, I've got some Penetration. So what I'm going to show real quick here is that this ball will travel through obstacles, as you can see here. Just wanted to show that off. As will this goes through obstacles as well. I just love the fact that you can move very quickly. So the spell magic is an excellent ability to use in group fights because you can hit multiple gods with it. You can silence them to keep them from using abilities. You steal their protections, give it to your allies. Uh, and it's also great for chasing. It's so like Kel here, I know she can heal. If I wanted to stop her from using ability, I just hit her with a Dispel Magic. And just hit her with a bunch of gusts. You can see there, it does a decent amount of damage. Let's go ahead and... Whoops. Just a little behind her, I think, on that one. Just a tiny bit off on my hit. And of course, here we have Ao Kuang coming in. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move out of the way. He tried to pull off his ultimate. It wasn't enough to hit me. And he's using his speed, so I'm going to use mine. And I was able to dodge his tornado. I'm going to slow down the line here. As you can see, I'm using my intense speed to basically keep away from their damaging abilities. That is the one major advantage that Isis has over many other gods. Okay, I'm going to silence you. Wasn't enough to stop you from casting, of course. Unfortunately, I'm suffering from Ao Kuang <laughs> being level... F what is he? 13? Yeah, and I'm 9. Hmm. Yes. I, I really need Bakasura to come back sooner when I'm being pushed back that far, especially by an Ao Kuang. 
This isn't working. This is not working at all. How's Baka doing? Has he got any kills? Yes, he's got two. Great. At least he's getting some. Unfortunately, Ark Wong is not doing so hot. Zero and two. Sobak, not doing so hot either. Zero and zero. Although he hasn't died, that's good. Has two assists. Excellent. He's a tank. That's expected. Okay, Warlock Sash is the next item. That's going to give us some wonderful stacks to get more power. Yeah, Fenrir's coming up left. Hey, Fenrir. Yeah, I'll go ahead and pull out there. So I had mentioned about my basic attacks not doing, uh, not getting life steal. That's not entirely true. Well, my basic attacks won't, but I still benefit from life steal, but not as physical life steal. I do get effects from magical life steal, but it doesn't affect my basic attacks in any way. Magical life steal will only affect my abilities. So my auto attack still will not gain any kind of life steal. Right Alright, let me pull back. And so let's go ahead and go into the f ultimate since I've been using it a couple times, failing and actually getting it in a good spot though. Circle of Protection is where you plant your staff for 10 seconds and any allies within the radius will take 30% less damage. Any damage dealt will charge the staff and it can explode to do 200 damage here at level 2. And it does up to double damage and um, at full charge and can do healing to any allies in the area when you get a charge. So Hell is pushing on the tower. I'm going to push out her creep so that the tower hits her, as you can see there. I was able to do that. I'm going to be very careful there here. I'm going to silence her, steal some protections if I can. Let's stun her here and get her into the creep. Doing whatever damage I can. I'm going to go ahead and put down my ultimate so that if she tries to hurt me, it helps. I'm going to stay in here so that any damage I do charges it up. Yeah, let's just get her there, and then let's silence her, steal some protections. I got some healing. Unfortunately, she is healing up as well. I'm going to pull back just a tiny bit. I don't want to push too much here. I was able to miss with that, so Baka's helping out. There we go. That's what I needed. Now that I got someone to help push, we were able to do a bit of damage there. Very good. Thank you very much. So, yeah, not entirely his fault. I mean, obviously, I'm going two against one. I should have played a lot more passive. It's definitely me being new at Isis isn't helping. If I were a little better at her, I could probably use some of these abilities to very lethal effect even against two versus one. The thing about Isis is she's very tactical. Really, Bakasura? You just stole the mana buff from me. An ally <laughs> you are an asshole! Oh my god. Whatever. Okay, we'll... we'll... Alright. <laughs> I'm not happy with my team right now. Okay, it's alright. Let's get out of the left lane and try and help the center here, because it obviously needs help. One thing that's really awesome about Spirit Ball is you can go through these walls and you can stun someone that wasn't expecting to get hit by it. Right here, I've got a little bit on Vamana there. I'm going to go ahead and chase with this ability enough to kill him. I've got three stacks now of my uh, funeral rites. So let's just take a look at the damage. We can see that Gust of Wind is now doing 115 and it's getting about 40% magical scaling. Hits quite nicely. You can see it clears a lane very easily and allows me to maintain mobility. My Spirit Ball will be the second ability that is maximized. And we'll take a look at that again at level 5. Hold on. Fenrir just went mid against Sobek. Alright, tried to hit him with that, didn't quite work out. Let's just pull back a bit. I see Hell in the left lane, so I'm going to go back to my lane. On my way. 
Oh, hell. Was able to get a little bit of damage there. Ooh, it just missed Fenrir. Alright, gonna put down the ultimate here. Alright, let's try and stun her. I'm gonna push it off to the left, and there we go. There's the stun. And she's down. Yeah, unfortunately, I put down my ultimate. Was hoping to keep her in it, but she didn't. That ultimate can do a ton of damage. If you get that up to maximum power, you can pretty much start one-shotting enemies at full charge. I mean, let's just... I'll t show you since it doesn't show the scaling on the K screen. The damage goes up to 320 at level 5. The healing, 160. And it charges up to 4,000. That's 4,000 damage that you're going to put out to the enemy. And then, of course, you'll get about half of that in healing. So, as you can see, you get quite a bit out of it. Which is very nice. Okay. Nope, not going to get hit by that. I will stun him a bit and pull back. And what I'll do is I'll start clearing his lane. Okay, let's pull back like so. Very nice. So Spirit Ball, final level, does 230 damage. So you can see that since this hits four times, it's 400 damage. Wing Gust does do more damage, but Spirit Ball does do it all in one shot instead of spread out over four. So you can see here, just kind of show the kind of damage there that I'm doing to the lane. And my basic attack damage is going up. Okay, I slowed him down and stole some of his protections. I'm going to try chasing him a bit. Sobek doing a decent job there of holding him in. Let's uh, get him into this ultimate if we can. Hit him with the ball and kick him out. I'm going to come back to my ultimate because it is nearly about to pop and get my healing off of it. Now, it does last for 10 seconds. You can let it go for the full 10 second duration. Almost. Or you can blow it early. Any move that you have really can be popped kind of early. I'm going to use that to steal protection, slow them down. Basically, if I can't... Oh, wow, cool, I stunned him. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. That hell... Oh, nice, nice. Let's try and steal some protections. Come here, Hale. Very good. Yeah, it's, the spell magic is probably one of the best support skills I've seen, and definitely one of the, the best for Isis's kit. The ability to silence them, the ability to slow them, and the ability to make them take more damage, as well as making it so that you take less damage is fantastic. And I'm going to show this off. You'll see that my staff is going to get charged massively from the, the tower hitting the creep. But this is perfect for pushing a tower, as you can see. The creep is taking less damage. Enemy gods that come into it, if I blow it, will take a bunch of damage. So it keeps the enemy out for a while. It's excellent. And it just, as you can see, charges very fast when you put it onto a tower. And it does count for creep that get hit. So Isis's ultimate is, for, is fantastic for doing that. You put it in there and... There you go. Take out a tower. You're good to go. I'm going to try and get a little bit more... Uh, let see. Just get a buff here. Let's steal their protections here to... That. Great. Cool. I did get it. Let's go back. Get the final Warlock's Sash. That will allow me to start building up stacks. We can see that Void Stone is the next item. Void Stone, magical power and protection, and reduces enemy protections nearby. So not only can I steal their protections, I will reduce them further with the Void Stone. So this is good. Das ist gut für mich, yeah? So I'm doing better. I'm now 3 and 4 instead of, like, 0 oh and 4. Not doing great, but like I said, I haven't had very many good matches with Isis. So. But i got to tell you, each time I've played her... Hmm. Where are you taking me? Yes. 
I have seven stacks of uh, funeral rites right now. I'm almost full. It's great. Oh, just barely missed him with that. Eh, I'll use a potion, that's fine. Alright, cool, I was able to avoid the storm with that. Uh, I'm getting tired of that storm of his. Let's go ahead and hit him there, steal a bunch of protections. Fenrir! Ooh, I got the stun on him. Excellent. Even while it was mid-air, I was able to get the stun with the orb, which really helped. He couldn't really move after that, so he got hit by a bunch of things. Got eight stacks of funeral rites now, so I'm giving a good amount of HP and MP5 everyone nearby. I'm going to start clearing the lane a bit more aggressively here as I want to get some stacks. Unfortunately, I completely missed the detonation of the orb. Oh, jeez. Nothing I can do about that. I got knocked in the air and pushed right into his whirlpool. Oh, well. I lost all my stacks. But that's okay, because quite honestly, um, I mean, it's cool, it's great to have them, they're about the power of the Bracer of Replenishment, but it's not the most uh, painful thing to lose, you know, it's it's not as, say, dire to get as maybe Shiba Lanke's. Shiba Lanke's, uh passive requires him to get god kills and basically get him much of attack power. That's definitely more important than HP MP5, but definitely not something to sneeze at. Something good to have. Just not something that I'm going to cry about losing, basically. But well, we'll get better. We'll improve. I'm feeling pretty good about this match so far. It's still kind of wonky. The laning phase was really not what I was expecting. It's... I don't know what it's been. The last few matches I've played have just been... People have been playing very awkward metagames. And almost, like, non-existent metagames, to be honest with you. Because people will just run around and do their own thing, is what it feels like. Uh, oh well. Let's go ahead and get some stacks off of these Furies. Excellent. Hell is pushing. Okay, I got a silence on Hell. Going to push with a little bit of damage here. Okay, got a stun off. Let's go ahead and put down the ultimate. Because now if Hell wants to stay and damage me, she's going to have to actually get in here. And then there, as you can see, I took a bunch of healing. Whoops, I missed my protection thing. That's uh, alright. No, maybe I think I hit her, because I saw the orb underneath her. Oh yeah, I got the hit. Ah, she's got creep guarding her. I'm having a very hard time taking her out. Whoops. Stun. Uh, I missed the silence. It would probably be foolish to continue this fight. Hell's healing is really... Ugh, that hell. Yeah, Sobek's gonna try and help, but one errant shot from hell would kill me, so... Let's just get filled up and go ahead and use the gust to get out of here. I tried. We danced around a bit. She just had a lot of creep around that really made that difficult. But she did die. That's the good news. Very much the good news. Alright, come along, gents. I think uh, attacking the Gold Fury would be a good idea. So I'm going to steal her protections and give them to you guys. So let's just go ahead and do that now. 
One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and get into maximum range. And oh, never mind. So much for that. Lots of damage going out. Very good. Oh, hold on. Vamana, Vamana, Vamana. Dead Vamana. Hello, Poseidon. Stun. Oh, I ran right into that one. <laughs> oh well. My bad. Okay, let's see if we can't help out here. Oh, nice shot through the wall. I think I missed, but let's uh, try and help Baka in case he's attacked here. Oops. Alright. Pull out of there with the gust. Skull Fury's dead, Baka, sir. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Sobek. Alright, what can we do with this? Oh, I see Fenrir and Hell left. Let's try and help Kwong. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this. I'm going to go through the wall. And unfortunately, I think I missed. I couldn't tell where they were. The silhouettes went away. Alright, team fight in the center time. This will be good because I can put down my ultimate to really help us. I'll just show off the ultimate's range because I didn't do that before. Clearing out the lane. An enemy has been slain. Awesome. Group up. Oh, that hell. Come on, Sobek. Nicely done, Kwong. Let's go ahead and put that at the maximum range. Just missing her. Right, help these guys out. Awesome. So definitely tactics. You need tactics for for this god. All right, let's see if we can. Yes, yeah, good. We'll be able to grab this phoenix. Let's go ahead and do the damage here. Right, Phoenix down. Center tower is still up, but we can grab. Oh, jeez. Your team has destroyed I want to get the middle lane here. I'll do this. Go in there and take the tower. There we go. Yeah, we're starting to take a bit of damage from the tower, but boom. All right, I'll go ahead and get out of here. As you can see there, a 30% damage reduction, even from a tower, is quite nice. So now that we've got the tower, let's go ahead and get the phoenix. Left phoenix is down. This will be it. Three phoenixes down. Oh, hi there. Stun them right there. Go ahead and see if I can't do additional damage here. Ooh, taken out. Ow, Kwong. Excellent. Getting hit by some creep here. Let's pop my potion. Oh, Vamana coming in. Let's steal a bit of his protections and hope that I can get away. Oh, he dashed past, so I wasn't able to get him with the stun. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to pull back a bit here. Let's go ahead and use Gust so I can backpedal a bit faster. And I'm going to return briefly... Finro, oh god. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And with that, I now have level 3 Kronos Pendant, which gives me some MP5, gives me some magical power, some nice magical power, actually, 50 and cooldowns reduced by 25%. That is a godsend for Isis, quite honestly. Uh, Isis being able to do the gust, being able to do the uh, spirit ball in order to damage the enemy, very nice. In fact, I almost think I would build my Isis with my own build the same way I would kind of build my Poseidon. That would be with Kronos Pendant and with Boots of Celerity, just so that I could move quicker and have much reduced cooldowns. 
So, hey, great. This is nice to see. I finally got a decent match, even though I wasn't able to get all the way up to level 20. was able to do fairly decently. Got uh, killed a few times, obviously, but uh, overall felt pretty good about it, especially, again, I, I the way I fe feel about it is she's new to me. I haven't had very many good matches, and that was a very awkward start to the game. To go with 4 and 5 on a god I hardly even know that I'm still getting used to. And of course, keep in mind I am using the default items and default leveling. Of course, I, I don't disagree with the way they leveled it, really. The the Gust of Wind is really the best way to start off, I think. I, I, I do believe in that because the movement speed is fantastic. You can dodge enemy attacks while doing your own damage. It's like having a Fatalis, really, only uh, you don't get slowed while the attack's going out. So you can run away and attack, and it's beautiful. Um... Next, the Spirit Ball going up is great because that's your next damage dealer. It has a good stun on it. The uh, Circle of Protection would be the the best to level up last, honestly. It's, it's a really good ability. It's a fantastic ability. You put that out there in group fights, give your allies some additional protections, uh, slow the enemy down, silence them. Yeah, I mean, what's not to love about that? And it's even percentage-based, right? 10% of their of their protection. So if you hit a tank with that, you're basically making that tank lose a whole bunch of protection and giving it to your allies. And, and that's a lot. It's quite a bit. You know, so that it's excellent. And, and it, the fact that you can chase with it to slow enemies down. I mean, she has so many abilities that are based around controlling the enemy and, of course, even controlling herself with Gust of Wind. She really is the perfect god for someone that likes to think in, tactically and that likes to manipulate the battlefield. She has almost as much control as I would say as a Sobek or, or as a Herc because you know they can knock an enemy out of position right well with Isis you can really get that nice long-range stun out there I've seen it used by enemy Isis uh, very well where they would sit there and just get the stun off that's all they really wanted and it was enough to get their entire team on that one god and get them killed you know and again of course being able to slow down being able to chase she has pretty much the same chasing capabilities as Freya it seems except for uh, I think Freya's is a little better because of her ultimate but Isis really where she reigns king though is that circle of protection being able to put that down I mean when you're taking on a minotaur for example you can put that down right on the minotaur any damage the minotaur does will fill it up right away and it does massive damage if an enemy god stands in it without any protections are pretty much dead and you're taking 30 percent less damage and you can pop it at any time you want. It's a great combination for ultimates like Odin. Like a, a good combination I've usually seen is Odin and, and Zeus. Basically, you trap them in the spears and then you hit them with the damage. This would be just as good too. Get the spears and get the uh, ultimate going because you're taking less damage. So you get things like that that are really well done. Uh, I, I, again, I, I apologize that you didn't really get to see some really great usages of those skills, but I'm going to take what I can, honestly. The matches have been so bad lately that I think this is a good one to go ahead and showcase, give you guys an idea of what Isis is like. I like her quite a bit. Uh, I just need to get used to her. The whole idea of my basic attacks getting uh, damage from magical power is great. It's something that I've really been playing with, with in my head, and like, would that work? Would it be a cool idea? And... Building her as a glass cannon, I don't know how well that would work, though. So I would like to see maybe another god that does something like that and is more geared towards being almost like an archer, like an Artemis or an Eith, with uh, just based around doing auto attacks. So maybe still allowing you to crit while doing the basic attacks. Because that's what keeps Isis from being super strong uh, in, in those fights, is that her basic attacks cannot crit, so you still have to rely on a lot of your skills. And she does a decent amount of damage with her basic attack, more so than other mages of their type, just because it does scale. It's good to see. So, alright, that... Ladies and gentlemen, is Isis, as you can see, my worshippers. This is a new system. I don't know what this will do for you eventually, but as you can see, it's low right now. First win with Isis. Oh, uh, well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.